how old were you when you were diagnosed? I was 42. 42. And what were your symptoms? Um, none, actually. I had had a recent um, um, surgery, and uh, by pulping uh, that area, I felt a lump. Um, there were no symptoms at all, not the common symptoms, which is like the night sweats or fatigue or pain or anything like that. Fevers too, right? Th those yeah, were... fevers, yeah, I had none. <laughs> okay, found a lump, went to the doctor, then what? So found a lump, went to the doctor, um, they immediately requested a CT scan. And um, the next day I got a call and they said, you know, you need to come in, we, we have some news for you. And, and I already knew that it was not gonna be something uh, fun. Um, so I went into the doctor's office and um, she diagnosed me with uh, stage three lymphoma. They, they, um, they had found, um, you know, in, in two areas, uh, lower torso, and then in one area on the upper torso. That's how they categorize the, the cancer. And you are non-Hodgkin's follicular lymphoma, right? It is. It is non-Hodgkin's, yes. Yeah. Yes. And so what did they recommend treatment-wise? So immediately, um, so I, I took like a minute to just cry my eyes out, but it was literally one minute and immediately I knew what I needed to do. So I didn't really give her an option to tell me what um, what her recommendations were. I actually told her, look, you know, thank you very much for, you know, for the test, for the results. I think I know the route where, where, which I'm going to take. And she was a little surprised and a little bothered by my response. Um, and she, she was trying to persuade me from going the natural route. Um, she's, she said that there were a lot of uh, people who were really not founded in their findings and, and their, um, you know, in, in their protocols and that she was afraid that I was gonna follow into a path where I was not gonna be healed, that I was gonna get worse. Uh, but I had some, something inside of me that was very strong and, and I just felt like that was the perfect route for me and the best solution for me specifically. In 2012, be before that um, surgery that I mentioned prior, um, I had had issues with allergies and um, I was trying to do transition, transitioning to, uh, to vegan um, and to eliminate all the dairy because I was eating dairy as a vegetarian. Um, and I went to see Dr. Clapper when he was working at True North Health. Um, and he recommended for me to eliminate all the dairy from my diet so that I could, you know, do better with my allergies. So, I so this, we're talking about Dr. Michael Clapper, who I've also interviewed. I'll put a link below that this in the show notes for anybody that wants to watch that interview. And I hope you will now. So you just saw him just sort of as a consultation, general health Correct. consultation at True North. Yes, I, that was in about 2012, um, 2013. So he was just treating me for common allergies. Um, and, you know, we were just checking in every six, six months or, or, or a year. So when I was diagnosed, that's who I thought of um, immediately when, um, when the, the other doctor um, gave me the, you know, the diagnosis. I immediately thought I was going to call Dr. Clapper, and which I did. When I got home, I called him and I let him know. I shared my my diagnosis with him, and he said, "Oh, let, come in. Let's let's assess your results and see if you're a candidate for a water fast." Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, why not subscribe? Here's a link to do that. And if you'd like to watch the full interview, you can find it at ChrisBeatCancer.com. There's a link to it in the description right below this video.